Modern finance is a very powerful tool, both if you are a business and if you are an individual. Lending and borrowing are basic tools that unfortunately are unavailable to billions of people because of the costs that the current infrastructure imposes. DeFi, decentralized finance, is a new generation of technologies that aim to eliminate bottlenecks, middlemen, and bring on board uh, to empower and emancipate billions of people with the help of modern finance. For the past 500 years, we have enjoyed the financial tools that banking made available. Initially, only for very rich merchants or kings uh, in Europe. Uh, the very word bank derives from banco, the table that uh, in Florence uh, 500 years ago, uh, the merchants that started to specialize in banking services would be employing to negotiate uh, what uh, they would provide, for example, in terms of lending. Even though lending to kings uh, was um, a lucrative but dangerous business uh, because when a sovereign defaulted and they had their armies well you would hardly be able to claim interest and principle or foreclose on their country right over the years uh, the opportunity of participating uh, in modern finance of course greatly evolved and today, uh, in the countries uh, with a high uh, income uh, per head, it is reasonable to assume that you will be able to go in a bank branch, uh, open an account, and based on your credit history, um, ask for five or 10 or whatever amount uh, reasonable uh, proportional to uh, your assets uh, to be loaned and to be paid back uh, progressively with interest and then use that uh, additional uh, financial base to invest, uh, to spend, uh, to uh, acquire whatever product or service you need. However, even though we take this for granted, both in high income countries and very much so in low-income countries, this is not true uh, everywhere. It is not uh, true that everyone can get access to uh, banking. What if you need a $100 loan? What if you need a $10 loan? The costs of analyzing your request would by themselves greatly exceed the amount of the principal that uh, you are asking. Also, there are a lot of people uh, without the type of documentation, let alone credit history, uh, for opening uh, a bank account, for asking for a loan. The same is true uh, in terms of uh, uh, lending rather than borrowing. If you have millions of dollars or millions of euros, of course, there are a lot of uh, investment opportunities for that capital to be deployed uh, in a manner that uh, will generate uh, further resources. It will appreciate, um, it will generate uh, interest. Uh, but if you have uh, just a thousand dollars or a hundred dollars that you would like to loan to someone in order to earn some interest there is no way uh, for you to uh, achieve that. Decentralized finance, DeFi, emerged over the course of the past few years, um, mainly based on blockchain technologies that enables the design and deployment of these new financial instruments that 
because of how they eliminate the costs uh, and the bottlenecks associated with um, the traditional approaches is open to orders of magnitude more people. And this is just the basis. Uh, there are also more exotic, synthetic financial instruments that are very interesting, even though uh, many people haven't understand them fully, so participating in them uh, can be especially uh, risky. We are at the beginning of exploring the implications, but already billions of dollars are flowing out from the traditional banking system into the decentralized finance platforms. I am uh, here in uh, Monaco uh, today, where I participated in the uh, Ritossa Family Office uh, Investment Summit. It was wonderful, both because the event was very well organized, but also because it was the first uh, conference uh, where I participated in person uh, in a very safe environment. Uh, Monaco imposes uh, universal wearing of masks that everybody uh, complies with. Uh, there is uh, uh, PCR testing both uh, at arrival and at departure. Uh, so all the participants uh, uh, interacted in a manner that maximizes uh, safety. Uh, being together with other human beings was really exhilarating. Uh, I also had uh, the chance of uh, meeting uh, in person uh, after more than a year of not uh, seeing each other uh, friends uh, from uh, many places and uh, greet um, those that uh, I would uh, meet for the first time with the hope of meeting again um, very, very soon. Uh, in particular, uh, I had a very interesting time uh, sitting down with uh, Brad Yassar. Uh, Brad is the founder of Beyond the Enterprises and the CEO of Equify which is a DeFi platform uh, that I invite you to, to check out. And uh, as the last uh, piece of news, big or small, uh, Brad and I announced that uh, I would be joining uh, Beyond Enterprises uh, as a managing advisor. Uh, so I'm sure you will hear more about uh, uh, this new phase of my professional engagements and adventures, as well as uh, the projects that catch my attention, uh, where I hope I will be able to illustrate them to you in the proper context, giving you a perspective of why they matter, how will they evolve and change our lives. Thank you for following this episode of The Context. If you enjoy it, uh, please subscribe to our channels and if you want to support uh, the creation of the context, you can do so by becoming a supporter, a fan, a sponsor, a benefactor on patreon.com slash David Orban. Thank you.